Hello there folks, it is TIJ Gaming and welcome to a brand new video. Today is time for my fourth video on Rugby 20 and today is time to have a look at the training regime within the game to see if we can improve how I play the game. Now, there are three reasons why I'm doing this. Firstly, because you guys have said and been completely honest with me and I've been honest with myself, look, you're not the best at this game. I think you need some training to help you improve and that's exactly what I think. And I thought, well... There's no point me doing it in isolation. I'll show you my training and see what you guys think um, of how I am and how we can improve. So, secondly, for you guys to watch me and give me areas for improvement. And thirdly, for you guys that just want to see the training gameplay on the game. Now, if this is your first video of mine on Rugby 20, I am doing a career mode with Wasps. And I've also uploaded a first impressions video. Some of those videos will be in the end screen, but of course will be on playlists on the channel. So, wait until you've watched this video and go and check out um, the other videos. And it goes without saying that the early cycle of these games is really important to build up a good base of likes, etc, etc. So, if you guys could leave a like, if you do go on to enjoy this video, it would mean a huge amount. And really go a long way to building my rugby content uh, on the channel. But let's get straight into the training without any further ado, shall we? So we'll start nice and simple. We'll start with training. Absolutely no idea. But we'll go with eight. Get in. It's lovely that they have this uh, this quiz um, before little bits of games. I think mean, it just makes it a little bit more interesting. And this video will be a little bit more laid back than what you'd expect. I do a little bit of lot chopping and changing in terms of editing on the other videos. But there's not going to be too much of that. But that being said, these loading screens are going to take a while. So I'll uh, see you guys when we actually get to the training. So, here we go. Here's the first training regi re regime. First training regime. Fairly simple. Uh, move up the pitch and pass the ball to avoid the mannequin, uh, mannequins. The longer... The, the, I've got all my bloody letters and words wrong today. The longer you hold down one of the buttons, the longer the pass distance. And obviously this is fairly obvious that this is on um, Xbox One. That goes without saying. And it's just simply just moving the ball over, missing the, mannequin, uh, the mannequins. I mean, granted it's a little bit easy because you already know what's going on. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I didn't realise it was going uh, RB there rather than uh, LB. But we'll go LB again. And very good. And six out of seven successful passes. So that, I presume, <laughs> that that's it for training. But we'll do it again. Try and 100% it because hopefully there's a little achievement that comes with it. I very much doubt there is. But that would be the main thing, of course. But this is quite good because it does vary. I thought it would just be literally passing it over to the left. But it does tell you where to pass it. So we'll go to the left again. want to get 100% passes this time. But this is all that we will show on today's video. No games, just the training regime. And that is 7 out of 7 successful passes. So that's a good training regime. I'm sure it would be the easiest and very much the easiest to get 100% on. So let's go to the next regime. So here's the second regime. This is the Rook. So when a Rook forms, press B to bring in a player. Excellent. 1 out of 2. Add again. That's it. Please don't say that's it. You can bring in two players at the same time by holding B. See, I didn't know this, so we are learning here. So, hold B. And there we go, they're both in. Nice. Okay. I feel a bit sorry for the bloke at the back, by the way. And then again. Well, that's going to be beneficial because I just keep tapping B all the time. So, if we hold B, it will add more than one player. So, that's good to know. Adding rook players to the rook makes them fight for, to gain possession of the ball, as shown by the gauge. For greater impact when they arrive, press the right stick at the right time. So I'm guessing the right stick is when you get to the player. Ah, okay. I didn't know that, you see, as well. So we are learning here. But of course, it's a lot more fast-paced in game. This is the problem. It's a lot more fast-paced. We've just got to learn to get a little bit better at that. But I'm sure as we do, just try and do this a little, little bit more naturally. Rather than waiting for things to happen, use our own reactions, but it seems we're doing pretty good so far. So the last one, in now, and we've got greens of varying degrees on these four, but that's pretty good. When adding two players at the same time, the challenge is getting the timing right with the right stick as both players arrive. Hmm. Okay. So now, and now. Okay, that, that's going to be a little bit trickier. But I'm sure we'll learn. I'm sure we will learn. Yeah, again, it's obviously in slow-mo, so makes things a little bit easier. But it's okay. For two out of four. So right stick now, and right stick now. I mean, again, not too bad. As long as we keep it in the green, that will be okay. So now, and now. Not too bad at all. Excellent, four out of four. 
See, we are learning here, and that is a very good tutorial done as well. So now let's move on to the third training regime. So next up, we've got the scrum. Let's follow the instructions to place the scrum and try and gain the advantage over your opponents. So, this is as we've done before. I think the straighter you are with the buttons, the better. Obviously, with LT and RT, it's just press them at the right time. Put the ball in straight with A, or try and pass it near, nearer the hooker's foot with the right stick. But you might commit a foul to putting the ball in not so straight. So it's something like that. Okay, follow the target with the left stick. We know this already. We weren't too great at this at the start, but we are starting to get better at it now. I don't know if this is the case, but if you perhaps play on a, bit, a better difficulty, we're on semi-pro at the moment. I wonder if we play on a bigger difficulty, whether that box will be smaller, uh, that circle will be smaller, I'm not too sure. Once the ball is at the hooker's feet, the highlighted player, so number two I think that is, use the left right stick to knock the ball backwards. Once the, foot, but is at, uh, once the ball is at the feet of your number 8, use the right stick to keep the ball in the scrum or to move it to your scrum half. So let's keep the ball. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. That's it. Keep going. Just keep pushing them back. Excellent. That'll be a lot harder in practice, I would guess. But I think we've just got to do this naturally now. We've got to do it on our own accord. So bind, set, that's it, lovely. Put the ball in at a slight angle, don't want to risk things too much. Get this element right first, win the scrum effectively. The scrums were pretty daunting, I must admit, when we started playing the game, but they're not as bad now, by any stretch. It's just about being concentrated, you might tell I don't commentate too much over those, because it is a bit tricky. Right, hook. And then keep the ball, keep the ball, keep the ball. And just keep pushing it back. I don't think we'll do too much of this in game because it will be, a, I would say it'd be a hell of a lot harder than this. Because it's not that other teams are pushovers, so it's a, it's a good skill to know though at least. So crouch, we're doing this again? I think we are. Set. Come in. Unless we're doing it wrong, I don't know. I presume we are. Unless we've got to do it a certain number of times. To prove that we have learned the skill. It's like going back to school, isn't it? But as I said, it's going to be a bit more of a laid-back video today. Just showing you the training regime. Excellent once again. Hook. Keep the ball. Keep the ball. I think this should be the last time we have to do it. If we have to do it again and it's the same... I will just skip to the next regime because there's not point, not much point carrying on. Just watching the same thing over and over. We've pretty much mastered this. There's not much to it, is there? Especially when it's telling you what to do. Again, I mean, there's just no point carrying on. Because I think it is just the same thing. I will carry on on my own accord for a few minutes unless anything changes. But if it doesn't, we will get on to the next tutorial. So this next tutorial is on, well, you can probably guess what it is on. Here we go. So, aim for the target while taking wind into account, represented by the indicator on the ground. Okay, so going to the right. So, oh, this is going to be a bit interesting. So, I've got no I've got no concept of uh, this, unfortunately. I mean, this is fairly straight, so it's not too bad. But we've used way too much power there, and we're off. Taking wind into account as well. My God, this is a bit tricky. So, pull that that way. Oh, that's great, isn't it? I mean, it, it was nearly there. Just haven't got the power on that at all. Right, if we don't score this, we're going to be mugged. Oh, you have to keep the right your player on, power on the right stick, you see. This is why we've not been very good at these so far. But it's, So it's very good to get the training in for these. Push forward. Oh. So you have to... These are a lot trickier, than, uh, personally, than I thought they would ever be. So. Control power. And then push forward. That's a little bit too far. But to be fair, we've got it. Okay. 2 out of 10 score. Let's restart and try that one again, shall we? Okay. So it's just going to the front. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. Come to the left a little bit. It's between the posts. We can take that. Control the power again. That's coming a little bit. That's going way too far, that is. 
Unless the wind helps us out. No, not quite. Obviously, these are massive conversions, aren't they? Huge. I mean, that hasn't really got the power on it, unfortunately. But it will get there because we're so close. You know, every two or three points we can get with these, you know, it's massive. So it's really important we do master these. On the old games, these were easy. But as with everything these days on games, they're never as easy as you think. But at least we're a lot better at these now than we would have been. I mean, that's way too much power. But we should be fairly straight. Just about missed. So if you do have too much power... Then uh, you don't do it. We're not going to do it a third time because I think we're, we're fairly okay with those. Just need to practice on them. Let's get on with the next regime. So now it's time for more defensive roles. Tackling. So go to B at the right time to tackle the player. Now. Oh, too late. Okay. Interesting. Oh, right. Okay, you have to just hit it at the right time. I mean, it was too late, but we still got him. Now, that's it. Right. Okay. One out of three successful tackles. Won't move next to the opponent posing player. And get to him before he gets to the cone. Oh, we we did it a bit too early, I think. And then just too late. So we've got to go around the cone, I think. That's it. I mean, I don't know if we have to go around the cone, but yeah, right, okay, we don't. That makes things a little bit easier. Let's restart, shall we? Because that's quite a simple one. So, tackle now. Okay, good. All about timing, and of course, the player, I think, will be a little bit quicker than that. That's the problem when it comes to the game. It's a little bit unrealistic. These are a little bit slow. I know it's only training. I've even got to start somewhere. But we have got a regime on advanced tackling. Oh. Oh, well. Two out of three. We can take that. These are a little bit easier, actually, because you can just control it yourself. Go up. Bang. You've got to have a quicker player, though, to do that, ultimately. Hello. I mean, he's practically just stopped there. Go on, tackle me. You might as well. Oh, dear. At least there's a training regime in the game. Oh, dear. Quick. Oh, that's too late. Should we try again? No, let's just quit. Let's just quit. I mean, that wasn't too bad. I think we've kind of got the... We're getting a little bit better. We're still very dodgy, but yeah, we're getting a little bit better. I think that's five training regimes done. Now we'll go back to the main menu just to remind ourselves where we are. But yeah, as I said, this is just a laid back video to go through the training and hopefully improve just a little bit. I think we have with some of the um, scrum tactics and that sort of thing, but there's a long way to go. Let's have a look at what others we've got to do. So we've got advanced tackling, which would be good to do next, I suppose. And then we've got the line out and set plays. So here's advanced tackling. We weren't so good at the easy tackling, but oh well. Advanced tackling is performed by pressing R. Right, okay. So now. Okay, that's uh, decent. But it can form in a foul if you get it wrong. Because obviously you can go for a bit of a dangerous one. That's too late. Four out of five. I'll take that. Going to be another twist here, isn't there? Try advanced tackling in a game situation. Ah! Oh dear, missed him. That's tricky. Is he going to go to the right again? Yeah, he is. Hello. Missed again. Well, this is a little bit trickier. Oh, he's gone to the left this time. Ugh. Too late. I mean, this is tricky. Come on. There we go. Took us, what, four attempts there, was that? Which way he's going to go? I mean, granted, that's a I mean, yeah, we're going to have to restart that because we absolutely butchered it. But we're okay at the general tackling. We've just got to get the... Timing right. Obviously, if it's just one one on one, it makes it very easy. That's why it's just introducing what's going on. Five out of five there. Not too bad. But it's getting it right in the game. So it's gone that side. Quick. Oh, this is bloody tricky. I'll tell you something. Missed him again. There you go. That's one. It's getting it when the, the blue light's on, I think. But obviously that's not going to be a thing in the game, so that's a problem. Missed again. I don't think we'll do this one again. But we've missed one out of five. Yeah, we've got to, we've got to do it once more or else we just look silly. I mean, we've mastered these. These are fine. Absolutely fine. When it's one-on-one, -on -one, it's nice and easy. But unfortunately, in the game of rugby, it's never really going to be one-on-one. -on -one. And with the camera angle I use, which isn't this one, uh, it just makes it that little bit harder. I mean, we didn't even start to sprint, so we're not going to get anything there. But, oh, just before the line. Very impressive. 
Had to start sprinting right away. Ooh, just missed. Wrong angle, I think, really. No, missed again. We're not very good that side, are we? Hmm. I hope he passes it that side again. No, he doesn't. Of course he doesn't. Missed him. One out of five. We're never... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to do it once more. Because you guys just have a complete go in the comments. Yeah, bloody awful. Got to go somewhere. Even if we get make some progress into two this time. That's going somewhere. Okay, let's start on a good note. And missed. Well... That side, we seem to really be struggling. I don't know what it is about it at all. Of course, we're okay this side, but what's the difference that side? I'm not too sure. Too late that time. Just knowing where he's going to pass. That's a good tackle. So that's... Is that two? There you go, two. I'll take that for goodness sake. Let's get on with the next one. So here are the line outs. Learn how to perform line outs by following the instructions. So... Left stick and X. Keep. So I presume that the left stick is just to the one we want. Okay, right. Oh, we have to get to the... Oh, this is a bit confusing to me. Right, let's try again. LS and Y. B. Mall. Right. Okay. Successful sequence. We'll try this again in a minute. Mall. I just don't know how we... Where we figure out what to do each time. That's all. On the old games, obviously, you just had a front, back, or um, mid. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, that's, that's more about tactics, I think. But it's going to take me a while to, to learn how to do these. Four out of six successful sequences. So, to the front, it's LS and X. Or LS, left stick, and the X button. To the back, it's the same, but obviously, you've got to. Okay, get to the back. So the, the normal starting position is in the middle, which makes things a little bit easier. So to faint, and then, oh, whoopsie daisy, and then to maul. I think we'll just go with the uh, left stick and X in our game, I would say. It makes things a bit easier. Just for the start, and then maybe learn how to be more advanced in the future. A little bit better, though, this time. So pass. Just out to the middle. That's nice and simple. So is that five out of six this time? No, there's still one more. Pass. Oh, oh well. Oh well. But, I mean, we, we've, we've still got the ball. So four out of six. We've learned a little bit about line outs there, but I might have to do that one again in the future. Just one more to go. I think it's set plays. So this is the final part of training set plays. You can perform, perform a set play after a rook to complete it successfully pass the ball at the right time, according to the yellow circles on the ground. Okay. So it's got to be when the player's in there, I'm presuming. Right. Oh, I'll get this now. Right. Okay. Pass. Out to the right. That's it. Right. Got it. Understood. But it's all well and good doing this, isn't it? Oh, that's a bit early. But that's successful. I mean, it's a lot to learn. I think this is quite advanced. But I suppose there's no good uh, having a game that's completely easy. Three out of five. I'll take that. Let's try that again. I think we can get five out of five. I very much doubt these boxes are going to be on the ground during the match, are they? <laughs> but I suppose we can learn the tactics and, and get it right. I think tactics are going to be quite a big thing, I would say. A little bit light on some of them, but again, successful. It's all about changing the passes and being a little bit less predictable. That's what I think we've been too predictable in our game so far in Korea mode. That's why we haven't won those two games we've had so far in the first two parts. I think we can make this 5 out of 5 here. There we go, successful. Just all about how wise the other team is to this. It's not going to work all the time like it is, because let's be fair... The opposition's not here, but that's a little bit unfortunate. Four out of five successful set plays, but 
I think from that, again, no idea, <laughs> we have learned a little bit from the training regimes. So, a little bit more of a laid-back video, a little bit more, well, we'll spend a few minutes in each training regime, but that has definitely helped. I'm not quite a rugby expert yet, but we are moving forward, and ultimately the main thing to move forward is practice. So, if you guys did enjoy that video, leave a like down below. Comment your thoughts on where we can improve. I've got a burp coming, and it's really tricky to, uh, to wait for it, but anyway... Yeah, leave a comment on your thoughts on the training regime, your thoughts on the game, and of course your thoughts on where we can improve. And subscribe for regular R Rugby 20 content. Hit the notification bell for every time a rugby video comes out. I'm hoping to get a daily release um, of the league uh, the league episodes out for the next week. And then we'll probably dumb it down a bit. But there will be Rugby 20 content for a while yet. We also do snooker content around here and football manager content. So if that is something that you guys are looking forward to, then you have content in double or triple doses. Very, very exciting. But thank you very much for watching today, folks. I'll see you guys later on today, hopefully for the third part of our uh, Rugby League journey with Wasps. But apart from that, thank you very much for your company today, and I'll see you later on. Goodbye for now.